I would go into the hospital, I'd go into the preemie, you know, they're all in their, you know, they have tubes and everything, they're this tiny, and you have to be really careful about how you turn them and how you move them and stuff like that, because any movement changes their heart rate and everything else. And um, the nurses and the doctors all like to come in, and some of them, of course, are anti whatever I'm doing. Other ones are just interested, you know, but they like to watch, you know, kind of thing. Um, the first time that I did grand rounds at the hospital, I thought they were going to turn feather me, kill me, and set me out of the room. You know, it's like this pit thing. And I was the first chiropractor they ever had come in to talk to them. I don't know if they really wanted me talking. I think they wanted me dead. But um, the room was completely packed, and I'm down there in the pit. And just like I think it was John, right, that talked about that you, you stick to the principle. I didn't try to go off in, into their medical realm. I said, this is what a subluxation is. This is what a chiropractor does. This is why it's important. And this is how I do it. And you can watch from the body language in the room that they went from, I hate your guts, I want you dead, to the point, you know, you could watch your body language. And they actually invited me back again two more times after that. So they were genuinely interested, but only once they kind of thought that I wasn't you know, I'm not a pseudo-medical doctor. I'm a chiropractor. I do something completely different. I'm not trying to do what you're doing. I'm doing this, and it's valuable. Would you like to know about it? So once we could kind of get that idea across to them, they didn't feel so threatened anymore.